Hi, this is Aaron again. In step three, we're going to show you how to upload the ultimate one-click small business Google Analytics dashboard. That was a mouthful. It's important to note that you have to have completed two other steps before you can use this dashboard. Number one, you have to have analytics set up properly and linking to your WordPress site. Number two, you have to have goals set up in analytics. So if you're watching this as a standalone video, it's a great dashboard if you have those two things done. But if you want to learn how to complete the other steps, just go to geekfreemarketing.com slash guides and look for the Geek Free Guide to Google Analytics. Anyway, what a dashboard is, as we've covered in this article, is just a simple way at a glance to view all the important metrics associated with your marketing or at least as far as analytics is concerned. So you can see all three levels of the online marketing funnel, reach, engagement, and conversion, where people are located that are coming to your site, what keywords they're using to find your site, which of your content they're sticking to and finding most compelling, which content is not so much that they're bouncing off, and conversion, which, what percentage of your visitors are completing opt-ins or lead forms, some goal that you have in place, and that's what the Google Analytics goals allows you to accomplish. So let's go look at how to load this dashboard. It's a lot easier than you think. All you have to do is to be logged into Google Analytics. Then you're going to go to the following website. You're going to go to geekfreemarketing.com. You're going to hang out there and buy a bunch of stuff. No, you're going to go to geekfreemarketing.com forward slash Google hyphen analytics hyphen dashboard. So I'll put that up on the video here, but geekfreemarketing.com forward slash Google hyphen analytics dashboard. So Google analytics dashboard. And when you hit enter, you'll be surprised what happens here. Automatically, Google is going to import this dashboard and simply ask you which web profile or which website you want to use this for. So you pick the website you'd like to use it for. We're using this, this uh, business called Echo Performance Builders as a sample, but you can use it for, um, for any website that you want. Let's go find this EP Builders. And right here. So we're just, again, it's going to pull up this dialog box. You drop down and select the one you want. I call it the Geek Free Small Business Dashboard. You hit Create, and it automatically populates the data. So assuming that you have goals set up, let's talk about what you see here. This is a real powerful tool to use because I've created uh, for you links to uh, more information. So see all these hyperlinks on the dashboard. If you want more detail, you can click through and get it. But you have a great at a glance view of what's happening with your website. Let's walk through it really quick. I can see how many visitors came in the last 30 days. I can also change the duration and look for any period of time. I can see where those visitors were located for those visitors that did have cookies enabled, obviously, but where the visitors were located that came to the website, which cities. So I know I'm targeting the right market, especially if I have a physical local business. How did those visitors find your site? Again, I've named this all geek free. So we're not talking about um, using kind of UTM sources or technical jargon. We're just saying how they find us. And I can see for this site, they got 33 referrals from Yelp, some Google organic traffic that looked really good. Um, even ask how frog on down the list. I can see how much traffic is coming from social media sites. And now let's go into the middle column. I know the number of page views, which is a sign of engagement. If I look at the visitor to page view ratio, I can see um, information about the number of page views per visitor, or at least extrapolate that. And again, this is not going to show you everything in analytics. It's the at a glance, top level metrics you need to be looking at on a daily or weekly basis. Which content is most popular? This is so important. When you want to know which content to re-syndicate or remarket out there, or which which content you might want to expand upon or improve or, or, or check your on-page optimization to get even more traffic or to write other articles or issues regarding other articles or videos regarding the same issues rather. You can see which search terms folks use to find you. Um, this isn't a complete search term tracking tool like Bright Local or a search engine rankings tool, but what it does tell you is the top search terms that that folks use to find your website. Very important that they're relevant to what you're going after. Now let's talk about the fun stuff, conversions. The conversion rate is simply the percentage of visitors, of visits that completed a goal. Now in the last video we set up goals, you simply take a thank you page that you've created and drop everybody that fills out a form on your site off on that thank you page, that becomes a goal. 
we can see the number of lead forms created and this is a really good conversion rate for a local business um, and so now we're obviously going to test and try to improve on that on the five percent so you know if you get more and more traffic and more and more conversions you're addressing both ends of the funnel and that's how you grow exponentially which locations were best so where were the visitors located that actually completed goals that's a really good metric to have what are the highest converting sources so you might get a whole bunch of traffic from Facebook where people are more casual or maybe not members of your target audience to come to find out that they're not converting well some people from long tail search traffic or other sources convert much better can you see how that might help you spend your advertising dollars better knowing which sources have the highest conversion rates and finally we look a little a look at a little bit of information about the mobile uh, mobile and tablet percentage so you, you want to make sure you have a responsive theme and for your website and that you're addressing those mobile and tablet users a couple things before I let you go that are really important um, to look at is when you're doing testing and you want to compare this stuff and see how you're doing you can come in here and actually compare to a previous period so I can say hey let's compare to December uh, the last the 30 days prior now if I compare now I can say wait a minute I had a 1% conversion rate for this period now that's not actually true because we didn't have these goals set up then but you can compare traffic there's a big loss in traffic now I might say did something happen did the site get de-indexed or punished or is it just that people aren't freezing anymore if it's an air conditioning company such as this how many page views were there how many people are looking and so you can go through all these metrics and compare them you can compare them to the last year or any any amount of time you want to to see how these numbers are trending if you do something like launch a new web form or launch a new special offer or ebook you want to see you can look make a note of when you did that and see how that might have impacted the conversion rate so really important stuff the last thing I want to talk about is you can set an email up to email you um, on a weekly basis if you're an agency you can set this to go out to customers you can set this to go to other par uh, parties in your company anyone you want to that has an email address you can say here's the monthly report shoot this out it's going to send a PDF automatically as, as often as you'd like for as long as you'd like hopefully this dashboard helps it's, imp it's important to start looking at these numbers and, and improve upon them thanks so much have a good one